Hi guys, welcome back to Nairobi Legal. In today's video, we're going to be talking about health law in Kenya, specifically the right to emergency treatment uh, within the Republic of Kenya. So before we go into that discussion, I want us to understand or rather know that these are some of the sources of health law in Kenya. Um, you can consider having a look at them or downloading each one of them. But these are the few among the many sources of health law in Kenya. Now, when it comes to the Constitution of Kenya 2010, I've picked out the key provisions regulating health within the Republic of Kenya. And so if you want to appreciate where I'm coming from, you can download the Constitution of Kenya. And because I've guided you by providing you with uh, the key provisions, then you can actually read and cross-check each uh, of these articles of the Constitution so that you understand uh, where we stand as far as the law and health is concerned within the Republic of Kenya. Now, the other th document that we have that is very key uh, for you to understand is that uh, when it comes uh, to the rights of patients, we have the National Patient Rights uh, Charter uh, that elaborates 16 rights that each patient has. And as you can see from your uh, screen, these are among the rights that each patient within the Republic of Kenya has. Now, you might be wondering why I'm actually just uh, giving an overview, but uh, remember that the specific objective of this video is for us to discuss uh, the right to emergency medical treatment, and this is more of an introduction. Focusing on today's uh, topic, I want us to begin by appreciating the definition of emergency treatment. And according to the Health Act of Kenya, emergency treatment refers to necessary immediate health care uh, that must be administered uh, to prevent a death or worsening of a medical uh, situation. So an example here would be that if uh, two people were involved in a bad accident and they're critically injured, when they access a medical facility, they must be accorded emergency medical treatment because as you can see from this definition, these people need necessary immediate health care uh, to prevent them from uh, losing their life. So this is just one of the examples of uh, circumstances that might amount to emergency uh, treatment. Now, we have Article 43 of the Constitution of Kenya that uh, provides that a person shall not uh, be denied emergency medical treatment. Now, you might notice one thing about this article. It does not specify whether it's a private or public hospital, meaning that any facility that you access in cases of emergency, it must actually accord you emergency medical uh, treatment. Uh, this, of course, is an emphasis on the definition of an emergency, as you can see. Uh, we are simply emphasizing uh, the discussion we've had in the previous uh, slide. Now, irrespective of the nature of ownership of a hospital facility, you must be accorded emergency health services uh, should you be referred uh, from one hospital to another. And the case in question is the case of Alex Magada, which you can check out on YouTube. Uh, this is a patient who spent over 18 hours in an ambulance moving from one hospital to another and looking for uh, medical care. So we're going to be discussing this case so that you understand uh, exactly what happens in cases where the right at emergency medical treatment has been denied. When it comes to money and emergency treatment, we need to appreciate as health law students uh, that no person ought to be denied emergency treatment and money should not be a barrier to provide emergency medical treatment in Kenya. This was uh, the point of discussion that actually came up in the case uh, of Alex Magada. Remember, this was a case that happened within Kenya. And so we need to understand and appreciate that in cases of an emergency, irrespective of a patient's ability to pay, the emphasis and the point of understanding and focus should be on treatment and stabilizing that patient, and then issues of money can be discussed later. Now, on the side of practitioners, actually, whether they're in private or uh, public uh, practice, uh, these practitioners in these health institutions uh, may not withhold treatment in emergency cases on the basis of lack of fees or funds. 
So the take home point here is that in emergency situations, uh, irrespective of your ability to pay as a patient, a treatment to stabilize your condition uh, shall be provided by that health uh, facility. So of course this is in regard to chapter 1 of the patient's rights uh, charter. As we conclude the right to emergency medical treatment, I want us to have an overview of the Alex Magada case. Now Alex Magada spent over 18 hours in an ambulance moving between one hospital to another in search for an ICU bed. Remember this critical condition amounts uh, to emergency medical treatment. Now just a brief overview of this case, Alex was involved in a bad accident picked up by a good Samaritan and taken to Kikuyu hospital. Now at this hospital, the hospital of course did what it could and referred Alex to Kenyatta National Hospital uh, because here he could find an ICU bed. Now upon arrival, uh, the hospital ICU bed capacity was to the maximum and so decisions were made uh, to of course take Alex to Nairobi Women's, another hospital, Coptic, um, in search for this ICU bed. While at uh, Coptic, the staff on duty, of course, did not um, end up admitting Alex Magada because there was a requirement to pay 200000 So this is just an overview of what happened. And in terms of the determination, uh, Kenyatta National Hospital was reprimanded for failing to ensure that the patient was appropriately assessed by a consultant and his medical condition explained to the relatives. Uh, so this was... Uh, the determination as far as Kenyatta National Hospital was concerned and for Coptic, the staff on duty did not follow protocol on admission as uh, the patient was not assessed by uh, the doctor and the relatives were not guided appropriately on the issue of the required deposit. So if you want to understand what does emergency medical treatment mean in Kenya and what factors will be looked at should uh, this emergency medical treatment be denied. Please read this case to understand it as uh, so you see how the different laws apply within uh, Kenya. You can also consider watching uh, this case on YouTube to see to have an overview of the stories that were moving around uh, the Alex uh, Magada case. Remember like I said uh, when it comes to emergency medical treatment uh, you ought to be given that uh, treatment irrespective of the fact that, that you may not afford to pay the bill at that point of emergency. So this brings us uh, to the end of uh, this uh, video and in the next video we are going to be talking about detention of patients. Do hospital facilities have a right to detain you after they have discharged you based on the fact that you cannot actually pay the bill? So this is the next uh, point of discussion. Please remember to subscribe. Thank you.